Charlton went ahead against the first division leaders Bolton in the 20th minute. John Robinson's cross headed in by David White. But Bolton equalised three minutes later, Michael Johansson crossing for John McGinley to score. Poor Bolton defending enabled Charlton to regain the advantage after 29 minutes. Phil Chappell heading in Robinson's free kick. And Robinson created Charlton's third seven minutes before the break. White scoring his second of the match and fourth of the season. But the emphasis of the match changed just before the hour. The referee ruled that Chappell's challenge on Per Franson merited a booking. Chappell dismissed for two bookable offences. With Charlton down to ten men, Bolton struck immediately. Nathan Blake was fouled by Richard Rufus in the area. And McGinley successfully converted the penalty to take his tally for the season to nine. Bolton's one-man advantage led to a distinct improvement in their play, and they equalised 17 minutes from time. Alan Thompson's cross turned in by Nathan Blake for his tenth of the season. Charlton three, Bolton three. I think it was a, you know, a great game uh, for the fans or, or anyone just turned up to watch it for the first time. I think uh, the first 60, minute, 60 minutes was end-to-end -end stuff. We got three and perhaps could have had five. They got one, perhaps could have had three, and uh, it was that sort of game. But certainly, once the sending off occurred, it really hurt us and uh, damaged our chances of winning it. To come away uh, with a point, we're delighted. And what makes it even better is when you look at the results as well uh, and then the other teams have lost. I know it's very early in the season, but it's, it's good to be, to be up there. And as I said to the players, uh, you're up there by merit. Um, and the opposition are going to raise the game 20%. And that's